Good morning. So, what do you do? What do you What do you have when you have Uncle Sam's property and a laboratory in South Carolina on an island? Sounds kind of like uh, Island of Doctor Moreau, doesn't it? On the sixth day, God created man. On the seventh day, he rested. And on the eighth day, in the year 2010, in a remote laboratory, an exiled scientist created something impossible. Unmistakably human undeniably animal on the island of Dr. Moreau. I'd like to present my children. Uh, father? Oh my God. Hey Jen, where are we going today? <gasps> Monkey Island! And are we going by motorcycle today? No, we are going by boats. Wonderful! Hang tight. This thing was on, wasn't it? I hope so. Morgan Island is in Beaufort, South Carolina, between the Morgan River and the Cusaw River within the Ace Basin. It is an island with a total mass of 4,500 acres, and the monkeys live in an area roughly 370 acres, known as the upland area. That's the area of solid land surrounded by river, ocean, and marsh. So like we said earlier in the intro, we're here at Morgan Island, which is known as Monkey Island. It's 4,500 uh, acres, 
of coastal uh, barrier island kind of thing just outside of, uh, of Beaufort, South Carolina. And how the monkeys got here was back before 1979, the monkey colony was down in Puerto Rico. And they were, it was a combination between government and private laboratories uh, testing facility down there. And the monkeys had herpes. And so everything was tooling along all right until they had a whole bunch of them escape and get into the jungles there in Puerto Rico. Next thing you know, there is a, not really an outbreak of herpes, but a higher number of cases throughout the island through the monkeys and uh, the human population. Now that could have come from monkey bites, it could have come from any kind of thing like that, not just, uh, you know. Anyway, uh, in 1979, they brought a colony of them up here. And the thing about uh, the rhesus monkeys is that just like humans, they have their own cliques that they get into. And the cliques that the monkeys were in down in Puerto Rico, when they brought them back up here, they realized that the monkeys found each other and the cliques regrouped here. So uh, that's pretty cool. It means that they are very social and that they like to stay together like families and families will find each other again. There are currently right at uh, 3,000, last count, uh, monkeys on the island. And they take about 250 to 500 a year um, off the island and take them to other laboratories for testing. No testing is done on the island at all. So there's not actually a laboratory here. Uh, there is one, there is a uh, caretaker home here on the island, and then on the north side of the island is the uh, feeding station. So, from what I've been able to gather, is that the prime time to actually see the monkeys is anytime before 10 o'clock in the morning on the beach. Uh, once it starts, uh, once the sun gets up and starts burning the, the fog and everything off, then they uh, start moving inland to, uh, for the shade of the trees. And then in the evening, they'll come back out again. Um, but uh, at the same time, uh, sightings have been seen, you know, all day long. And well, seeing that there's, uh, you know, the only thing inhabiting the island are the monkeys. There's no reason to have street lights and etc. So you're probably not going to see them at night. Most of the videos and news clippings you see is of the monkeys running along this beach area. However, you need to get here before around 10 a.m. if you want to see them here. After that, they retreat to the shaded inland or upland area. So today, we decided to take a slightly different approach. We went to the north side of the island in the Coosa River and found the Morgan Back Creek. If you go, then just follow the red line shown here. This leads to the feeding station, caretaker residence, and supply dock. It's here that you are more likely to see the monkeys. You'll have to stay in the boat because it's illegal to step foot on the island.
they aren't visible, never fear, monkeys are inquisitive. Just start whistling as we did, then sit back and watch the explosion of activity in the trees. You will love the show that looks like it belongs in a Jurassic Park movie. As more monkeys than you can count start moving through the trees, coming to check you out. The rhesus monkeys on Morgan Island are still used for research. The monkeys, island, and research is basically taken care of by a contract. The island was owned and run by South Carolina Department of Natural Resources. The monkeys were owned by the United States Food and Drug Administration, and the care of the monkeys while on the island, along with the the testing done in another part of Beaufort County was handled by a company called Alpha Genesis. But in 2002, all of that changed. The South Carolina DNR now leases the island to Charles River Laboratories. They manage the colony for NIAD, or National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases. Other than the effects the monkeys have on the island itself, no other studies happen on the island. About 250 to 500 of them are removed every year for research. Some of those monkeys removed go to Alpha Genesis Lab there in Beaufort County. And about every two years, some of them stage a <laughs> prison break from Alpha Genesis, such as the one in this news clip from May 2016. But to date, no monkeys have been documented escaping from Morgan Island. Amnesty. It happened in, on Sunday and it was all over the place. Something a few residents actually saw over the weekend. Others saw on social media. The monkeys it came from the Alpha Genesis Lab. Marla Rooker joins us live there now. So Marla, what exactly happened? And the big question a lot of people are wondering, have all the monkeys been caught? Yes, all the monkeys are back on the property, and as of last night, they were trying to get some of the monkeys to come down out of the trees. Now, as you can see, Alpha Genesis is gated. They have a gate all the way around the property, and we're told uh, none of them have escaped again at this point. Now, around 1 in the afternoon yesterday, police started receiving calls from folks saying they saw monkeys in their neighborhoods. Now, Yemisee police headed out to try to capture the lab monkeys, and eventually were able to get those 19 monkeys back on the Alpha Genesis property. Those here call it the monkey farm. It's a facility that provides research from primates. The company has been in trouble in recent years after nine monkeys died back in 2011-2012 due to temperature control problems. Now we spoke to the chief of Yemisee police and he says the monkeys escape every two years or so, especially when there's a strong storm. But how did they get out this time? That's the question. What's in the right hand side of the cage uh, on the roof? Uh, some screws was loose, and I guess the monkeys scuffed the screws loose and worked their way through the roof, and one got out, and the rest of them got out. We're told by police that just because they're back on the property does not mean they cannot escape. Again, so of course, if you ever do see any of these monkeys out, you are asked to call 911 immediately. Reporting in Yemisee, Marla Rooker, WTOC News. Thank you for keep. Thank you for watching keep. Uh, keeping history on two wheels. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell. And remember, every trip starts with a step, 
And that step starts with you.